What's going on guys, it's Walter Moose here, and I'm bringing you another Spec Ops Tutorials. This one finally is Arctic Recon, because today they had a patch that came out that uh, actually fixed it so we could play it. So uh, first things first, you want to grab the Barrett instead of the 5.7. The 5.7 is just not really going to do much for you in this mission, I've realized. Um, and the Barrett's very useful off this spawn point. Um, I would recommend throwing a flash just so that you can get a couple uh, right away. Overall though, these guys are pretty bad. They really don't really notice you very much. I mean, you'll get hit a couple times, but for the most part, if you stay zoomed in with the Barrett, stay looking for them, you, you shouldn't have too much trouble. As you can see there in the distance though, there's a... Uh, I forget what, exactly what it's called, um, but it's one of the places that you need to plant the beacon. Um, one of the weird things about this mission, and it actually makes it kind of more, a little bit more fun because it's not just on the ground with the gun, is that you have to go into a recon drone and actually mark that. And uh, what's also awesome about the recon drone is uh, it can shoot. So I'm, to me, it, it kind of gave me a little glimpse at what the quad rotor in Black Ops 2 might be like. I mean, obviously they're very different games, and and. Uh, they're not even made by the same company, but um, you know, something from the air that we get to control that's that's small, not just a helicopter. We've never really seen that yet in Call of Duty, and this is one of the first missions that allows you to see, you know, what that kind of thing might be like. So here you go, you're in it. As you can see on the bottom left and the bottom right, there's a lot of controls. There's press and hold X to tag. The one thing that's hard about tagging is see how the green square or the square is green now. That's the only time when you can tag. You need to be fairly close to the uh, tag point. Um, I played this mission a couple times before, so. I figured that out, and uh, that's why I just went right to it. Um, one thing you can also do with the recon drone is you can just shoot, as I said before. But um, you could just shoot uh, a lot before um, you could shoot like everybody and kill them all before you even uh, mark the mark the. Um, I'm, God, I forget what it's called. I guess I'll, I'll just call it a beacon before you mark the beacon, and um, and then you can just pretty much run up by yourself and plant it. Um, I did choose to. T uh, Whoa, can't talk. Uh, I did choose to take this recording because I had a little bit of a mistake in it, and uh, hopefully it'll be able to teach you guys a little bit about the mission and uh, just make just be a learning point, I guess. Um, right here, there's going to be a lot of people, as you're going to see right there. There's a ton. Uh, I just throw flashes continuously, usually. That's actually kind of backfired on me um, because I ended up using all my flash grenades, and uh, I couldn't use them for the little end part where you run, but here, I can, you can see I'm trying to get in the recon drone, but somebody shoots me, so that'll happen if somebody's close to you, it'll knock you out of the recon drone without you really noticing, or without you knowing, sorry, not, not noticing, um, but yeah, I mean, I usually just go right around the door, because it just, it's just quicker, but you guys can go wherever you really want to call in the recon drone, just be wary that, uh, that will happen, it, if somebody gets close to you, it'll knock you out of it, so, you can see there, I'm just going to go tag right here, and then I forgot, but you can't, right when, uh, right after you tag it, the, um, recon drone will fly away, and you can't use it for a little bit, um, I'm not really sure why, I think it's just something in the mission, I guess, um, but that is something to be cautious of, you don't want to count on the recon drone being able to kill people while, when you just tag something, because you won't be able to use it. So, uh, here's the next one, it's right here, um, I think you can go either way on this ship, I went the right side, but um, I'm sure you could go left. I'm not really sure why I went right. I just kind of did. Um, and there, there was another guy right here. Um, so yeah, I mean, just pretty much just make sure you're you're good before you call it in. Uh, I mean, the recon drone's fairly easy to operate. It's RB to uh, move up and LB to move down or ascend to descend, I guess you could say. But right here, I'm doing a strategy that I really do like. It's uh, I'm trying to kill a lot of people before I tagged it, and uh, I got a few. So as you can see, I'm kind of ignoring the objective right now and just making sure I kill a lot of people because as you're going to see in a second or two, when I actually run up there with my actual guy, it's extremely helpful to have this guy up here. Um, I guess you could toggle thermal with Y. I never did. I don't really think you need to. It's pretty bright on this mission, so I don't know if thermal would really do much. Uh, but I tagged it there, and see, I ran off without putting the beacon on where I just tagged. Um, that's something that I just completely forgot about, and then once I killed this guy, I kind of realized it, uh, because the the next objective is right up there. But um, I just completely forgot to, and this is where I kind of thought I might lose the mission because I messed it up big time. But um, as you can see there, the helicopter is kind of above me now and to the right. Uh, it's going to be dropping people down. That's not too difficult, and also you don't really need to worry about taking out the helicopter. I really thought I was going to have to take it out because usually that's what you have to do when helicopters come in and spec ops, but you did not have to take it out, it, it just goes away as you can see on the screen there in the top left in the uh, recon 
And uh, yeah, I mean, it only drops about, I think, four or five people, and it's not too difficult. So now you're going to need to call the recon drone again. There's nobody up here, which is extremely helpful. Um, I mean, I don't really know why they did that, but it's fine. And uh, just make sure also one thing, I did it one time when I was playing this mission a little bit ago. Uh, I went too high up in the recon drone, and uh, it lost the mission for me. Because it, it said you need to return to the combat area, and I couldn't get back in time. So uh, just make sure you don't hold RB for too long and go too high up. Or go too, go too far to the left or right, because uh, you will go out of the combat area and you'll probably die. So right here, I'm, I would have thrown a flash, and I actually realized I... I didn't have any more, so uh, I just used a grenade and it worked out pretty well. This is really the only uh, hard part about this entire run back, I guess you could say. Uh, it only takes maybe 30 seconds to get all the way back from the front to the back of the ship. Just make sure you keep reloading. As long as you know how to reload cancel, you really shouldn't need a different gun than the ACR on this mission. Um, I, I like the Barrett at the beginning because it's a little bit easier from that little perch that you can have. But to be honest, the ACR could probably do everything in this entire mission, uh, especially if you can reload cancel. Because uh, if you don't know how to reload cancel, all you do is reload and then sprint right before uh, you know the guy pulls the little thing on the gun or whatever. But uh, right there, that's pretty much the end of the mission. Uh, I don't think they can kill you at all. They didn't get any shots on me, so I'm pretty sure they can't. So I, I guess you can try and shoot them. I tried to, and it didn't really work out. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed Arctic Recon, and uh, I'll see you later.